Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on Chinese Pod. 大家好 So Jason, what movie did you see this weekend? Wait, how did you know I saw a movie this weekend? Because you see a movie every weekend. Yeah, yeah, I did. Well, well, yesterday I went to the theater to see Ready Player One. And that's perfect because if you want to answer a question like that the way Jason did, except in Chinese, that's the sentence structure that we're going to be going over today. Today we're going to talk about a grammatical structure called 是 da 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 da. That's 是 in fourth tone, so it goes down 是 and ends with 的 a neutral tone, so don't stress it 的 是 da 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 da. It's a grammatical structure. That's kind of like a bracket or bookends that you put important information in between 是 and 的 to stress about time, the place, and matter. For example, if you want to say I came yesterday, you would say 我是昨天来的。我是昨天 yesterday 来 came 的。我是昨天来的。Now, if you want to highlight about the place, for example, if you want to say this book was bought from China, you will say, 这本书是在中国买的。这本书 this book 是在中国 in China 买的 bought. 这本书是在中国买的 And finally, if you want to stress about the manner. For example, if you want to say, "I came yesterday on the train," you would say, 我是昨天坐火车来的。我是昨天 yesterday 坐火车 on the train 来的 came. 我是昨天坐火车来的。So if you're talking about time, you could say, "I did not come yesterday." So that would be, 我不是昨天来的。我不是 did not 昨天 yesterday 来的 came. 我不是昨天来的。You can also use 不是 and 的 to talk about place. For example, this book was not bought in China. 这本书不是在中国买的。这本书 ，this book， 不是 ，was not， 在中国 ，in China， 买的 ，bought。这本书不是在中国买的。Now, when you're talking about manner, you can also add 不 in front of 是。For example, I did not take the train in yesterday. 我不是昨天坐火车来的。我不是 did not 昨天 yesterday 坐火车 took the train 来的 came. 我不是昨天坐火车。来的 And remember, the word 是 by itself is a short affirmative answer, sort of like yes in English. For sure. 是 So thank you so much for watching this lesson on Chinese Pod, and be sure to practice the structure on your own and create some of your own sentences. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. 再见